So today's question is, when can people access my information held on UIDMe? Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about that right now. Hello, this is Lee Cunningham from UIDMe, the UK's only emergency ID and alert service. It's a combination service. It offers people the highest protection in the world. And on this channel, we bring you lots of information about the service. We also bring you the odd product review as well. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so that you're alerted about any new videos that we include as well. It'd be great to have you aboard. And at any point during the video, please also check out the show notes and the links in the description below, because that's where we're gonna link out to any references that I make during the video. There's also some bonus materials in there as well to help you carry an ID, emergency ID, in the most effective way possible. So let's get on with the video. When can people access your information? Well, that's a very good question because um, the first thing I would say to answer that question is that your information is completely inaccessible until you register your ID number. So with your UIDME product, whether that's a wristband or whether it's one of our uh, fantastic range of medical ID bracelets, whether it's a, a set of dog tags or whether it's a, a, a medical ID card, um, you'll get an ID number on that. Typically it's a 12 digit unique ID number that's yours, but it's not worth anything until you've activated it. You need to go onto the UIDME website, click on activate ID product, and then fill in the information. And typically that information will be just about you and your medical condition. And also of course, um, your medical, uh, sorry, your emergency contacts as well. So you can put multiple medical conditions on there. You can list as many medications as you take. You can put NHS number, blood group, donor preferences, allergy information. And a really good part of the, uh, the process is uh, the ability to add any other important information. This is where people really can, you know, give crisis information, what to do in the event of an emergency, anything from I've got a valve in my arm and you're not to use anything more than a, a less than a 10 mil syringe to you know real individualized planning for um, people with autism for example it can be really specific information say you have a piece of medical equipment fitted and you need to tell a paramedic about that well you can't tell them of course if you are incoherent if you don't have the ability to speak that the UID me system is doing the speaking on your behalf. So what you tell the system is what the paramedic or the emergency services see in the event of an emergency. So, when can people access the, my information? Well, once you've registered your ID number and once you have registered your ID number, they can access it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, at any time from morning, noon and night and from any country in the world, so long as there's an inter internet connection and a mobile device. Now that could be anything from, you know, standard mobile, smartphone, laptop, um, tablet, PC, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's got a browser and an internet connection, they can access your information from, um, from their device. So, I think that answers the question of when. It's pretty much any time as long as you register your ID. So please do, if you haven't already, register your ID number from UIDME, just click on the button, activate ID product. You can update your information at any time, by the way, and we'll cover that in another video. Um, so that's, I think, all for this video. So thank you very much. It's Lee Cunningham from UIDME, the UK's number one emergency ID and alert service. Bye-bye.